in the Suzuki method, um, the focus is, I would say, on four basic principles. Mm, and three of them called the invisible body, which is the three elements of the invisible body is energy, or called animal energy. There's nothing really spiritual in it, it's just body energy. So Suzuki writes in his book, The Culture uh, is the Body, that um, when you walk on the stairs, you are using animal energy, your body energy, but if you go up with elevator, it's like um, a non-animal energy. Uh, the second element of the invisible body is breathing. And the third is the center of gravity. So researching, and it's really important that we are speaking about an experimental method. So Suzuki used decades to, to research with these elements, to, to um, examine how um, the actor should sharpen their senses, um, highest, higher their readiness, um, on stage and their expressivity. So the method is really aiming these kind of qualities. Um, and he was and he is researching still with his company about uh, these basic principles um, and observing the interconnection. So how the breathing affects energy and the center of gravity, or controlling the center of gravity, what is the effect on the energy or on the breathing? So through the exercises, it's not just a theory, but it's really um, concrete embodied exercise for the actor. And they can make their own research and the mentality of research is really important in the method. The fourth element, which makes actually um, the, the Suzuki method an act acting method or an actor, actor training method, is called image, or I really like the idea of vision. So as a complex inner process in which the actor has a concrete communication with, with a vision, with an image. Uh, when we say image, it's like more pictorial, so I would prefer, I would say, vision, because it have an auditive uh, field, uh, visual field, uh, tactile field maybe. Um, so a whole static situation can work as a movie in the, in the actor's head. And sometimes vision can be a music inside. Mind and um, imagination of the actor is, is also involved during the really physically challenging exercises. The Suzuki method was codified in 2012 during a symposium in Togemura, and Suzuki decided that there are six basic exercises. Mm, and above them there are several more advanced exercises, but um, those for the actors who are working with the company or in the company. Um, the training exercise and the performance in Suzuki um, was constructed uh, one beside another. So he always tried to um, create the exercises to support the actual process or the actual performance. And then step by step it turned out the exercises can be detached from the actual performance and can use a regular daily basis for the actors. The, the elements, the physical elements, are connected from various cultures, various cultures. So uh, he, Suzuki was inspired by the traditional uh, Japanese theater forms like No and Kabuki mm, and the elements of it, like for example the stomping. But for example, stomping as a gesture uh, can be found in uh, almost all the cultures around the world. So Native American uh, rituals, 
embodying stomping or or using stomping. Uh, I know about Hungarian and Romanian tradition in the folk dances. We have stomping. I spoke with the Slovakian trainees uh, these days that uh, Slovakian traditional dance or folk dance has stomping inside, but also Indian dances, Katakali. Um, has stomping in it, Japanese theatre forms or um, performing arts has it. So it's a kind of natural gesture of the body. For example, children, and also Suzuki quotes children um, in his book, uh, that they are stomping when they really want to uh, get something. So if a child is angry or get uh, excited about something, he or she stomps on the floor, so he, um, he or she express his need and will through this gesture. Mm. And also, this gesture is really filling the whole nervous system, because there are several nerve endings at the sole of the feet, so hitting the ground with this kind of uh, natural way um, automatically freshens the nervous system. And uh, through this, actors can accumulate energy to continue the training, to continue the rehearsal, to to wake up the soul inside. Uh, several um, Japanese tales in which um, a priest is stomping on a wood to uh, wake up the spirit, which is a metaphorical story, uh, to, to wake up the spirit of a god, um, to help him uh, to fight, I think, with an evil spirit. But it's a really metaphorical story of um, waking up the spirit through the stomping. Um, and the other elements also, um, Suzuki really put emphasizes on the connection between the body and the ground. In his philosophy, it's really emphasized that um, we are coming from the ground, we are going back. He claims that uh, the voice, the energy and the expressivity of the actor is really depends on the connection between the actor and the ground she or he is staying on. Mm. That's why um, he also give, gave the title of some of the chapters of the book, or one of the chapters, like Grammar of the Feet. And uh, a lot of times Suzuki is quoted by this idea that uh, Grammar of the Feet, how the feet should be used and how the position of the feet and the legs um, defines the actor's energy and uh, voice and expressivity. Mm.